One quick thing I wanted to show you was about using some cool effects in the layers to add a little bit of uniqueness and individuality to your images. So in your layers palette here, you can click on any layer that you want to affect. I want to try this one and either go down here to effects and choose one of them or just double click next to the name of the layer and it will open up the layer styles. I want to move it over here so I can actually see what I'm doing. So with this you can do all different kinds of things. You can color overlay, which the opacity is so heavy I can't see. So if you wanted to like put a color tint over an image you could do a color lay or a gradient overlay. An outer glow can be nice. And so you'll see if you just click on the boxes, you're just turning them on without adjusting them. But if you actually click on the words, you can go to that effect and change its color, size. There'll be all different kinds of settings that you can use for these. So um, try some of these. See if they give you looks and effects that you like. I think I like that one, although I think I want to change the stroke color to go a little bit better with my imagery. So then if you like it, you can hit OK. If you want to apply the same effect to multiple layers, you can right click on that effect, choose Copy Layer Style, and then right click on any other layer and paste that layer style to it. So maybe you have some consistency. I'm going to undo there. I think I want my other little acrobat guy to have the same layer style as that one. So you can do some things to bring different imagery together and make them look a little more consistent. You also have control over the opacity of your layers. So that is how thick or transparent they are. So opaque is completely not see-through. Transparent is like a window, it's see-through. So you can turn down your opacity and be able to see through one layer to another. So you can play around with some effects with opacity. Then you can also adjust your blending mode of how the two layers look together. And so to do that, you click on the layer that you want to blend. And you can try different settings, dissolve, darken, multiply. I suggest just try a bunch of them. It really depends on what opacity it's set at and what layers are going on. You see over here, it kind of disappears. But on top of here, I get a really cool effect where I can start to see through both of my layers. So I really encourage you to experiment with these, try some different ones, see what you can do and see what different effects. And like I said, every two layers and every two different images with different opacities and different blending modes are gonna give you different effects. So that's why experimentation is really the key when you're learning this stuff to just try and see what you get. So that was a little bit of bonus content on adding some uniqueness and individuality to your collage.